I'm not sure if I told you this or not, but we started an esports team. What's going on boys? My name is Joe, welcome back to the show. And today we're gonna take a look at something that's completely different than what we've done in a really long time. High competitive gameplay. I know, some of you guys out there are not even close to fully maxed out. So how does this relate to you? Well, in reality, let's be real here. As you progress throughout Clash of Clans, there's gonna be a point where you start looking at clan war itself and you're gonna be like, that's kind of boring and I want more. And then you go into clan war leagues and you realize, wow, we're really dominating, but I need a little bit more. And that's what happened in Battle Elite with a couple of our players and hence the creation of ADX Esports. So we're gonna take a look at this attack here from Danny Beast. Now, Danny has been working with the Lalo variants for a couple of months now, trying to get that practice in and some mastery. So you know when you steamroll a base, you want it shown off. This is gonna be possibly the longest queen walk I've seen in a while, as well as some swag at the end. So he's gonna start on the right side of this village with the archer queen drop, a wizard, and a sneaky goblin for funneling purposes. He wants to get that queen up into that scatter shot as well as that royal champion. Balloon, healer's place he's going to wait for the queen to get up into range of the royal champion and drop the head hunter now you're going to notice that he slips in some balloons to the left of the queen as well as a battle blimp to target that town hall inside the battle blimp is going to be sneaky goblins which are going to tick away on the town hall and eliminate that poison bomb queen dealing with the clan castle troops. Looks like we got some witches, skeletons, ice golem, and they're working through a poison spell. Queen is gonna work up into that scatter shot and she's gonna keep going from there. She's got a lot of stuff going on here with the expo, the wizard tower, and the battle builder hut. She's gonna keep pushing forward. Little slow at this point. We might speed it up here and there to kind of get through this attack. Here comes a super wall breaker that's gonna travel all the way up into the next compartment. Wow, I mean, that's some serious precision in big brain attacking. Not even gonna lie about it because you gotta have some patience to make sure that you do this thing right. Barbarian King placed on the outside of the village. Here comes another headhunter in preparation for that Barbarian King. Eagle goes down, Queen versus Barbarian King. She's gonna keep pushing forward, taking damage from a mortar and the king, he's a little confused. He doesn't know what to do. Rage spell drop. Queen's gonna keep pushing forward. Here comes the royal champion going into defenses, joining the barbarian king at the top side of the base. And here comes another super wall breaker to push this queen deeper into the base. I mean, are you serious with this? Look at how much of the base has been taken out by just heroes. No balloons whatsoever. Invisibility spell on the royal champion to get that royal champ into the multi-target inferno tower. Queen is gonna take out the enemy queen and she's gonna keep pushing forward to take out that air sweeper, which opens it up perfectly for the balloons, lava hounds, and the grand warden. Warden's ability will be used and they're gonna work their way into an already distracted scatter shot. Archer Queen is gonna take out a wizard tower on the far right side, which opens it up perfectly for the loons. Once the wizard tower is down, balloons are gonna power through these point defenses as if they're not even there. There is one expo still standing, but I believe it's on ground mode and the balloons are gonna work their way into the single target inferno tower. Look at all those balloons. Look at the minions, the barbarian king and the swag at the end of this attack. Well done, Danny, man, you are amazing. Now, if you are considering getting into the esports scene i must give you a little bit of forewarning in regard to your defenses if your base isn't fully maxed out it's probably not the best option for you at this time i mean adx they're doing great on the offensive side of the house but when it comes to defending boy they're giving up the three stars and that is not good so you know that's just the biggest difference between spending a little bit of cash and not spending cash you just got to wait it out until you're max but they're doing amazing work and i hope to see them thrive if you're interested in joining us on the esports journey be sure to check out the link down in the description below and how many of you guys are going to be using lalo in the future like the one you saw in this video yeah me either <laughs>